Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy and this is my art life. For today, we will be taking a look at the Ekiao Show watercolor pencils. I got this set from Shopee for only 150 pesos. This set has 48 colors and as indicated in the packaging, these colored pencils are water soluble. top right of the packaging, it indicated how to open the box. I like that it is a drawer type where you just slide it out to reveal the pencils. It also comes with a free brush, although it's just small, but it is very much usable. At the bottom of the packaging, you'll find the sharpener, which I think is a good touch because it comes with everything you need to get you started. Now let's get to swatching. I like that the white somehow shows through the black. That means it has a little bit of opacity into it. Let's try out the other colors as well. We have 48 pencils to try out so we do have a lot of swatching to do. If you'll notice, the pencil strokes are very visible and it comes out streaky. I really don't go for this usually because I like colors to come out solid and seamlessly. The streakiness of the colors is due to the lead. This set has hard leads so I'm having difficulty getting the colors or pigments onto the paper. I have to apply more pressure when coloring just for the colors to show. This is the reason I prefer soft pencils versus hard ones. Now let's see how well the pigments reactivate with here I'm using the small brush that came with the set. It's a bit difficult because of its size but this brush would work well with detailed work. I'm happy that this brush isn't like one of those really cheap brush with stiff plastic bristles. This brush has soft nylon bristles and is very much usable.
If you'll notice, I have switched to a water brush. It's because this is usually what I use when coloring and I want to know if a water brush will work with these watercolor pencils. I'm happy that it did work and I think these pencils work better as watercolors than color pencils. Notice how the colors become more solid and vibrant when I wash it with water. Now, let's see how well this watercolor pencil blends. I'll first blend it as color pencil. I'll use red and yellow to make orange. Then, second is blue and yellow to make green, and I'll brush it with water. So far, I still like it better when used as watercolors rather than color pencils. And now, let's get to my favorite part of this review, which is the final verdict. This is where I'll let you know what I like about this product and what needs improvement. First, let's talk about the good points. For me, the price point of 150 pesos is very much value for your money, because at that price, you get 48 colored pencils, a free brush and sharpener. Since these are watercolor pencils, you can use them as colored pencils or watercolor. You can try different art styles as well as explore new techniques. It has vibrant colors especially when used as watercolors and it blends really well. As for the thumbs down, I observed only a few. Let's start with the hard leads. It may be subject to preference, but I always prefer soft leads over hard ones because softer leads are easy to work with. When used as color pencils, stroke marks may be very visible or streaky. This is because of the hard leads. I also had a bit of difficulty getting the colors into the paper, so it also has a low color payoff. Another thumbs down is the variation of color. Although it says that this set has 48 colors, some of the colors are too similar, and the shades of colors are so close that they'd look the same. But overall, this product is okay and very usable for casual drawing and coloring. This is great for those who are just starting out with art, and for those who would like to explore with their artistic skills. With its price point, you can use it as much as you like without worrying about how expensive it is. So if you ever come across this set by Ekiyosho, go ahead and grab it. It'll make a nice addition to your collection. So that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned much from it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.